video and as you can see I'm with people Zoe the boss conceited hoe <laughs> oh I'm dead y'all could just call me then. for this video so we all got two pieces of paper and we got a bowl so we all gonna write topics on this um, piece of paper and then we're gonna all put it into the bowl and then we each are going to pick a topic out of the bowl and talk about it with you guys just give us a couple minutes we gonna write our right topics now. down You wanna go first, Nina? I'll go first. She gonna pick her own. Right, she know which one she picked. <laughs> I don't pick this man. This man, can I pick another one? No. You gotta do your own. Cause we all gonna talk about it right. anyway, so. Most embarrassing moment. Like, I really gotta, I gotta think about that. I don't know my most embarrassing moment. Right. But I can tell you an embarrassing moment. My most embarrassing moment. <laughs> I'm laughing just thinking about it. When I was at school at NIU and I was going to psychology, and psychology you gotta go up a bunch of these stairs. Oh, and, you, and so <laughs> I was leaving the psychology building and it was snowing outside, it was black ice everywhere. And it was these group of people that just got off the bus to go to, um, to, go to class. So I'm over here trying to catch the bus that they just got off of, so I'm rushing. So I get down and I get to the to the third from last step and I fell and bust my shit the rest of the way down. Everybody come running to me talking about something. Oh, are you okay? Are you okay? Y'all, I scraped my knee. I scraped my knee on the concrete. I hit my back on the bottom of the stair. So my back was hurting and my knee was hurting. Everybody was laughing at me. <sighs> go ahead, who next? I guess I'll go. I mean, it's probably was the most. I had started my cycle and you know how that go. And I had like, bled through my pants and I was around this dude and he's just like you got some red stuff on the back of your pants I'm just like huh packing <laughs> all clueless and shit I'm like never you knew what it was yes because I'm, I'm, like, I'm like only one thing and I'm just like man that's just like I'm setting some juice some red juice all the time that was my I was so embarrassed man that was it probably you know, was the most embarrassing happened that happened to me that never happened to me before man I think it was, it was like seven or eighth grade though I ain't never bled through my pants again, probably. <laughs> right. Okay, go ahead, Melina. Okay. I was just sitting in class, and we had a fire drill. So everybody had to get up, stop doing their work, and go outside. And I was just, I was talking to somebody. I wasn't even looking where I was going. We was just walking outside. And this is like the sidewalk, and this this big old piece of the sidewalk. And then I just tripped, and I fell. And, like, everybody was looking at me. <laughs> it was only she like, awkward. Damn, she just looking like <laughs> She's probably on the floor right. like. <laughs> oh my like, god! It's oh my only god. it's only two people that she laughed at me. <laughs> And, yeah, everybody else was like man. asking me am I okay. And the two people that laughed at me, it's ironic because there was the people, the two people I fucking hated at that school that was laughing. Yeah. And everybody else was just looking at me and asking me was I okay. Forget them, Medina. Right. You don't need them. That's the next topic. So one now and five to go. Just one. The top that I got is college is a scam. Do you agree or do you not agree? I kind of do agree. Like, I think college is not for everybody. It's just something that everybody, we taught in society. Like, you got to go to school, graduate, go to school again, graduate, and keep doing it. And then they think everybody got to go to college in order to be successful or do something. Or you got to have, like, a certain career with your life. Like, you got to pick one of the options, like a doctor or a teacher or mm -hmm. something like that something that society teach you to do. And regardless, like in America, I think it's a scam because regardless, what if you fail or you pass or you leave or whatever happened, you still gotta pay them back. And whatever you do, you still gotta pay them back. She finna be a teacher, so I wanna hear this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in college and the reason why I, go to, I went to college is because I want to be a teacher and you need education to do that. Had you not needed that, I probably wouldn't do that, but I just feel like Teaching is what I want to do. Like, that's my dream. And, you know, some people go to, they don't have to go to school. Some people don't go to the school and they able to, you know, pursue their dreams and stuff. So, it's not like you have to go to college. And I, I personally, I, I feel like college could be a scam because it's like, you, you working all your life. You need an um, education to get a job and you need a job to get an education. You have to pay for it at the end of the day. Right. So, 
I would say, yeah, I feel like it is because you shouldn't have to do all of this just because you want to be successful in life, you know, and this is the route that you want to take. You shouldn't have to be in debt this this many dollars just to, you know, pursue a career that you want to do. Like, I, I understand why they do it just because people go to school just to clown, you know. And if you paying all of this money, I don't think people realize how much money college actually is because their parents usually do it. But if you doing it independently like me, then like all of that money is in my name. Like your parents can help you with it for people who are dependent, but if you're independent, you all on your own. And so it's just like, people don't realize that. So when they going to college and making the wrong decisions and stuff, they wasting their money. Right. So if you not finna go and do what you gotta do, then you shouldn't be there. I think college is a scam if you not, if you're not trying to be a doctor or a lawyer or a teacher or anything of that nature, then it's a scam. You got people who work in, they wanna get a bachelor's to work at a freaking hair salon. Right. You wanna get a bachelor's, you want a debt for that? To work <laughs> at a hair salon? Right. You got, college don't even offer you a guaranteed interview. You going, you paying $100,000 to not get a guaranteed interview. Yeah. Everybody's like, oh, so you ain't going to college. This and that, you ain't gonna make no money, but I'm making more money than majority of people I went to school yeah, with. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> If you see but, you don't want to go to college, they can be like, oh, you're not going to be shit. Oh, you're going to be right. bussing your ass all your life. You got, I ain't going to lie. You, you did a, a life. Like, yeah. I'm, she, proud of you. I'm proud of her. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. She got her YouTube going on. <laughs> she finna be a teacher. She got a job. She just, I got here. a lot going. She got a lot so. going on. Hey, stay tuned, though. What's that? Teenager pregnancy. Teenage pregnancy? Mm -hmm. 16 and pregnant. I just feel like you shouldn't you have a baby at like teenage years. Cause it's like, I know you can't take care of it. Well, some people, unless you Kylie Jenner, unless you like that successful, like she was making money when she was nine years old. Unless you like that, I don't think you should have a child. Like I ain't saying go, I ain't saying I believe in abortions or nothing like that, but it's always other options like um, adoption. And I just feel like you can't take care of it. If you cannot take care of a baby at the state you are in now, you need to have a plan B. You can't support that baby. If a baby go to the store and they be like, oh, mom, I want, I want this candy bar off the shelf, but you 15, you don't got no job, now you gotta look at your mama to do it. You shouldn't have a child then. I, honestly, I agree with everything Dana said. Right? <laughs> these little girls be trying to trap these young men because y'all can go get that plan B. Right. You know what I'm saying? But it's not even just that. I think when you young, you shouldn't even be thinking about having sex anyway. Like, let's be honest, if you gonna have sex, don't do it wrong. Use a condom. I know, I ain't gonna say what what's the name said. I know oh. the condom sex ain't all that, you feel me? <laughs> but use protection, period. Cause y'all yeah. too young to be doing that. Like, come on now, you don't even, you just a baby yourself, like right. what the fuck? <laughs> One thing I hate about this generation is that they just be normalizing the fuck out of teenage pregnancy. Like, I'm talking about, like, when you yeah. 16, under, even 17, they just be normalizing. They make it normal. It, right, and yeah. then that shit cute. Like, like, that shit not cute, and it's not normal. And, like, teenagers, like, I know a lot of people who had babies when they was a sophomore, a junior, a freshman, like, you know your life finna change, or you know you're not finna be able to take care of this baby, so. Whatever. And I'm not saying that baby's even a bad thing. Like, it's just, I feel like too many people are normalizing baby daddy. Like, y'all yeah. don't even be in a relationship with these people. Y'all normalizing boyfriend and baby daddy. People be having babies by these people, and then be mad when the baby daddy don't be in your life. You having a baby by somebody that, like, you, he not even committing to you. And like that's when they think like I don't want to have kids until I'm married and in, in, in a stable ass relationship because you know anybody can just be like oh I'm breaking up with you and then never see the child again. Yeah, yeah. So it's just like I'm not saying that they that it's just because y'all married that he gonna you know be right about a baby, but I'm just saying like yeah, it's just baby daddy and baby mama is just too normalized. Like people normalizing that stuff. Like oh yeah. I don't think that, and y'all not even in a relationship, like a boyfriend-girlfriend relationship. Y'all just having babies by anybody. <laughs> All right, so this is the end of this video. You should be trading. <laughs> Say it one more time. You should be trading. <laughs> I'm gonna put all their social medias and stuff in the description box. Yeah, because I'm gonna be launching a huge movement. Like investing, mindset, all that. Yep, so remember the name Christina Zoe. All right, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye!